Hi YouTube, it's Vidget for Fitness. I am just making um, eggplant and it's just going to be breaded and fried without bread. I'm going to use Parmesan cheese and a little almond flour. I like my eggplant really thin, so I'm using a mandolin and I like it uh, sliced long ways versus in the rounds. A lot of people slice it this way and I don't like the skin so I peel it first. So I am just going to make the slices which I'm going thick side first, and um, I'll show you what it looks like when we bread it and fry it. Um, the one thing about a mandolin, I am always terrified every time I get near one because I'm afraid I'm going to lose a finger. That's why they have the handy dandy holder. I don't even like washing this thing, but I use it all the time. So I'll uh, finish slicing up the eggplant and show you what it looks like when we get ready to fry it. So here are the pieces sliced up, and the main reason why I use a mandolin is because uh, all the pieces come out the same thickness. You can easily use a knife. Um, you know, if you have a mandolin in the house, I highly suggest it. Uh, it makes all your pieces cook evenly, and I really like using it. It's great for many things, but for eggplant especially, I always use it. Uh, I have a hard time slicing eggplant evenly. Um, so this is what it looks like, and I will show you what I, it looks like when we start uh, breading it. So I'm going to start to grate this uh, cheese. I normally use Locatelli uh, Romano cheese, but um, the store didn't have any. They had one that was expiring, so I bought a different one. So the one other thing you want to do is you want to salt the eggplant. I just use regular kosher salt or sea salt. You want to do it on both sides because eggplant tends to be pretty bitter. So make sure you do that and then we will bread it. So here's the grated um, Parmesan cheese. To this I'm just going to add some almond flour. Just going to eyeball it. So basically what you want to do is after you salted the eggplant, you just want to drop it in some egg. Just a quick egg bath. Some people add water to their egg. I don't. Then you're just going to put it in with this cheese and almond flour. And then you're going to put it on the side and then fry them. So this is uh, the other side after they've been flipped over and then I'm going to dry them in between paper towels and show you what they look like on the plate. They smell great. So here's a couple of them done. Um, I just had them in between paper towel just to soak up the extra oil and this is what they look like. They're nice, they're golden brown. I would normally salt them again because I love salt and um, just eat them. You can make them with um, Parmesan and you could put cheese and uh, sauce on them, but I just like them plain with salt So here's the finished product on a plate. Um, this is normally how I serve it. I just take some sea salt and um, Or kosher salt I should say and sprinkle it on top. So it's going to be an appetizer We're going to have steaks and possibly a caprese salad very simple and easy and this is delish